Hello students, this video is about uh, trigonometrical identities. We are going to derive all the identities using a right angle triangle and uh, Pythagoras theorem by using a Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares of the length of the other two sides of the right angled triangle. Suppose if I take a triangle ABC which is a right angle triangle, this is hypotenuse and I have fixed my angle over here so this is opposite side and the left outside is adjacent side and by Pythagoras I am going to square up my hypotenuse which is AC AC square which will be equals to sum of the squares of other two sides the other, other two sides are AB so AB square and uh, BC BC square AC on AC I have hypotenuse so hypotenuse square is equals to AB on uh, AB I have opposite so opposite square plus BC which is adjacent square this is my main equation hypotenuse square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square this is my first equation main equation I am going to divide equation number 1 by hypotenuse square so hypotenuse square by hypotenuse square which is equals to opposite square by hypotenuse square plus adjacent square by hypotenuse square so hypotenuse square hypotenuse square gets cancelled you will get 1 over here which is equals to opposite by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse is sin theta since we have square over here it is sin square theta plus adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse is cos theta so cos square theta since I have square over here it is cos square theta so my first identity is sin square plus cos square is equals to 1 for the next identity, I am going to divide the same first equation by opposite square now. Oh, hypotenuse square by opposite square, opposite square by opposite square, adjacent square by opposite square. I am going to divide the entire equation by opposite square. Hypotenuse by opposite. Hypotenuse by opposite is cosecant theta. So it is cosecant square theta, which is equal to opposite by opposite gets cancelled. You will get 1 over here plus adjacent by opposite adjacent by opposite is cot so it is cot square theta and my second identity is cosecant square theta is equals to 1 plus cot square theta for the third identity i am going to divide the main first equation by adjacent square of so which is hypotenuse square by adjacent square opposite square by adjacent square adjacent square by adjacent square so adjacent square adjacent square gets cancelled opposite by adjacent opposite by adjacent is tan theta opposite by adjacent is tan theta tan square theta hypotenuse by adjacent <coughs> hypotenuse by adjacent is secant theta since you have square over here it is secant square theta so these are the three main important identities the first one is sin square plus cos square equals to 1 1 plus cos square equal to cosecant square theta and 1 plus tan square theta is equals to secant square theta from these three main equation I can derive a uh, sum more like the first identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 if I want only sin square theta what I can do is I can take this plus cos square theta over there what it become it becomes minus cos square theta this is my second formula and if I want only cos square theta what I can do is I can take this sin square theta over there so when plus sin square theta comes over here it becomes minus sin square theta so using the first identity I have derived sum of formulae and the next identity is 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cosecant square theta if I want only cot square theta what I can do is I can take this plus 1 over there when plus 1 goes there it becomes minus 1 so second one is cot square theta is equals to cosecant square theta minus 1 if I want only 1 what I can do is I can take this plus cot square theta over there so when plus cot square theta goes over there it becomes minus cot square theta okay now I am going to use the third identity 1 plus tan square theta is equals to secant square theta now if I want only tan square theta what I can do is I can take this plus 1 over there so when plus 1 goes over there it becomes minus 1 and if I if I want only 1 over here what I can do is I can take this plus tan square theta over there so when plus tan square theta goes over there it becomes uh, minus tan square theta so you will have secant square theta minus tan square theta uh, this is what all about trigonometrical identities and thanks for watching